so i just got back from the gym and i've been following up with the conversation online truth is for a lot of you guys that know me you guys know i love and i support david i put off his shows on my story even when somebody was willing me on twitter i put out a tweet i was sending him dms a couple of months ago begging him to come on the big friday show to be at the show in Ghana, hyping up the crowd. I even got in a conversation with somebody on his team very recently. That's a story that almost it's all love from my end. Now, let's take this to the genesis before this whole brouhaha. An honest mistake was made. You say it's an honest mistake. And I understand how messed up Twitter is now. They bring a lot of nonsense to your timeline. What you're not interested in seeing, people you follow, you don't follow. I understand how messed up Twitter is now. But you made an honest mistake. You don't make an honest mistake, apologize, and then still try to bring that person down. It's just like say so you they drive for road, you hit person, you contact person, I ah, sorry you, but why you say walk out for this road, you suppose they your house. If you apologize and apologize, you don't apologize and set somebody up for more drags. Considering that you're a celebrity, you understand what goes on, you know how online bullying is, you know people attack people unprovoked. It was still the same social media, AY made a joke, an honest joke. That some people found funny, some people didn't find funny. But at the end of the day, he came out and he apologized with how big AY is. He came out and he apologized. You even dropped the comment and you, everybody was happy and all smiling. You keep it moving. You apologize, you keep it moving. Or you don't want to say nothing. You totally ignore it. Or even casually quoting it with, ah, babes, no vex, I beg. It was just an honest mistake. And everybody laughs about it. But then you saying it's an honest mistake and then tagging it with, I don't know you. It, how does that sound to you? And at the end of the day, I tweeted and I said, Fina, I know you. We plenty, we know you. This is me supporting a fellow friend. This is me supporting a fellow woman. And at the end of the day, you start liking shady tweets about me. Like, I want to understand how me supporting a fellow human being is me shading you because that was not the case. I wasn't trying to directly or indirectly shade anybody. I was only trying to uplift this woman up. And then you go about liking shady tweets about me. See, for anybody that cares to listen, right, for everything I've done from five years ago, from four years ago, from six years ago, if those years were to replay back, I will do all of those things with zero regrets. Because everything I did in the past is the reason why I'm the person that I am today. It's the reason why Tatcha is who she is today. It's funny how anybody would think they can troll me. Like, you would troll me with pictures I posted. You would troll me with videos I posted. You would troll me for real. <laughs> that Tatcha then is the reason why you're not the Tatcha of now. Apologize and keep it going. So you people are trying to tell me now that some people are bigger than criticism. This is the reason why some people are exempted from certain things. There are some people that cannot be touched because they are up there. I'm sorry, you are not God. Oh no, don't say anything. And then we're in the country that we're in and then we keep complaining, forgetting that this, this society is a big reflection of ourselves, of we, we ourselves. We make the society. Nobody is above criticism. Not the president, not anybody. You, David, you are supposed to be the front runner against bullying because you know how it feels people drag you for no reason you know how it feels by the end of the day Shami, i thank god say god that is in heaven no be man yes i don't beg for deals i don't beg people to feed i'm not in nobody's bed i am who i am because i am who i am and that's not going to change i'm contented with what i have i'm good that's not going to change this world is already hard enough this world is already cruel enough country already hard so any given opportunity that the way we go fit take spread love, show kindness, be kind to one another, irrespective of whoever it is, whether it's Fina, whether it's anybody, whether it's Tatcha, whether it's anybody, make with it try to spread love. Let's not be hypocrites. Eh? Let's not be hypocrites. Let's not spread love selectively. Let's not share kindness selectively. Nah. At the end of the day, it's all over light though. It's all good. We 